One of the things that makes us sometimes forget our primate origins, at least here in the West, is our tendency to cover ourselves with this stuff. But I'm down here in South Australia and I found a place that just might help us to remember where it is that we came from. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I uh, once tried to film gorillas in their natural habitat and that was quite difficult. But it turns out there aren't many human beings that appreciate being filmed in their natural state either. So I'll have to leave that clip up to your imagination. Or perhaps next time you're in the shower you can have a good look at yourself if you haven't been too busy scraping and plucking and remind yourself of where it is that you come from. But for now, let's go off to those caves that we saw before and see the kind of place that our ancestors uh, survived for tens of thousands of years through the interglacial about a hundred thousand years ago as they followed the coast as the seas went up and down living off tubers and seafood and having quite a good time of it as far as we can tell even though at the time our species was hanging on by a thread these were perhaps the last one or two hundred human beings alive on the planet and every single one of us is related to that group down in the southern tip of South Africa. Why are we here? One of the big questions answered in all kinds of ways in cultures around the world. The sciences give us a whole bunch of parts of the puzzle to answer that question as well. One of which is that we're here because over a hundred thousand years ago a small group of humans, probably only a hundred or so of us, managed to survive in this cave behind me. And not just survive for a little while, but survive for tens of thousands of years as the earth cooled and warmed again. It was such a bleak and difficult time that almost all human beings on the planet died out, apart from this small group in this cave here. It may not look like much, but it's home or at least it was for my ancestors and yours in fact for the ancestor of every human being alive on the planet some hundred or so thousand years ago didn't have so many magazines back then but that didn't matter they were too busy out there surviving off the sea life off the occasional bird they probably caught the tubers that grow in South Africa and maybe even a large mammal or two. Well, I say this cave, but the budget doesn't allow us to travel to South Africa, so we're still here in South Australia. And uh, this cave, hopefully though, gives us some kind of impression of what the cave in South Africa might look like. Certainly, it's down by the beach, or at least it was sometimes. Of course, as the glaciers froze and melt, the sea went in and out by kilometres. And so our small group of ancestors had to follow that, surviving off birds, off the uh, tubers that grow in South Africa, and of course, off the seafood. They managed to do it for a really long time, as I said. Why? Well, now we think because they were far more intelligent than we've assumed that humans were until recently. It's often been thought that it was only about 50,000 years ago or so that our intelligence really took off. But the data from the cave in South Africa, looking at the way they made their tools with such sophistication, suggests that actually our ancestors have been really, really intelligent for more like 100,000 years. So why are you here? Why am I here? Well, because even though our species nearly went extinct, one small group of humans worked out to live together, to cooperate together, to survive together for tens of thousands of years. And they were pretty brave too. Mightn't seem too dangerous to go around collecting shellfish off rocks like this. But of course most of the decent shellfish is to be found out on the ledges like that one. And even further beyond under the water. It was quite a job to eke a living off the shelves like this for tens of thousands of years. Yet somehow they managed it. It might almost seem ungrateful of us to have been kept alive for tens of thousands of years by the ocean and its bounty. 
only to turn around and start dumping so much of our own crap in it once we thought we no longer needed it. Of course, it's becoming abundantly clear that that thought was an illusion.